many families around the country. The prevalence of obesity has more than doubled in children and more than tripled in adolescents in the past 30 years. So tragic. But parents can make just five simple changes in the house that will make a difference. Heather Brett is with Weight Watchers and joins me more with more right now. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. It's nice to have a bullet point list. It makes it easy. And mm -hmm. we'll start with wholesome and nutritious foods. That's key. Right. We want to create a love in our family for whole grains, low-fat dairies, <clears throat> proteins, fruits and vegetables. And so this may seem challenging for some parents, but if, if you really serve them in a creative way, and we have a, actually have a book that we've just put out, Eat, Move and Play, and it's right. a guide for parents on how to get these type of foods to their kids in a fun, creative way. And one of the recipes that comes to mind is we create what we call a hummus head. And the kids decorate the hummus head like they would a Mr. Potato Head. And then they eat it. Oh, so you're that's creating big, the love for these yes. great foods. Yes. Yeah. And they get involved, and that's fun. Keep the treats. That's another thing that's important. Exactly. Um, we want to keep the treats. We don't want to deprive children. So, you know, a couple of treats a day are fine. And a treat is really defined as a high calorie, low nutritional value type thing. So, um, soda pop, candy, that kind of thing. So, a couple a day is fine. But we want to make sure that we're keep we're keeping them treats. Um, if they eat them all day, then they don't become treats anymore. Now, we don't want to confuse it with snacks because children have smaller stomachs, and so they do need to eat snacks throughout the day. Sure. But we want those to be the nutritional, wholesome ones with a couple of treats mixed in. Very good point, and your book says it all, too, in terms of moving. Keep yes. children moving. That exactly. could be a challenge right now. Mm -hmm. We do want you to have the kids moving at about an hour a day, and it may seem like a lot, but that also includes the time that they might play after school, uh, any sports activities that they might be involved in. But really, there's just nothing better than going out, playing frisbee, playing ball, doing something as a family because you're role modeling that type of behavior and then they'll do it if you do it. And then what do you mean by everyone counts? We don't want to isolate anyone in the family. Most of the research says that you can be unhealthy and small. So let's just make the whole family healthy. Let's make these rules apply to everyone, including the parents. And then that consistency will really foster the healthy relationship with food that we're trying to encourage. And I would think it would help the discussion continue throughout everyone in the family to strive for better choices. Absolutely. So really, another thing that's so important to you, and you mentioned this, is children looking to their parents. I mean, mm -hmm. you learn so much by watching, mm -hmm. and what we yes. do really matters. <clears throat> Absolutely. So, so maybe talk to yourself about your relationship with food and your choices that you make and the, and the type of behavior you're role modeling. And, and check that first before you even spread this out to the family. Good advice. Thanks for sharing it and the book. Thank you. Thanks for being here. And we have a couple of run recipes to get your kids healthy, fun recipes, I should say. Go to news9.com for recipes to make hummus heads and turkey and rice and mice. <laughs> That'll be a lot of fun for the kids.